have opened your letter from the Orleans Parish Assessor's Office, you may have experienced a bit of sticker shock. Now, property values are reassessed every four years, and this time they have gone up for many homeowners. Mick Fair is joining us now with what you can do if you don't agree with your price. Mick. That's right. Not good news. It appears for now that the average increase could be around 15%, but the Assessor's Office will not know for sure until after the assessment rolls close in a month. Orleans Council Vice President Helena Moreno is hearing from upset taxpayers about their significant property value increases. Insurance costs are through the roof. Uh, people are struggling to keep their homes. Utility costs are, are high. I mean, so it's already so hard to live in New Orleans. So then they get another whammy with now my property taxes are even higher. So she sent this letter out Monday afternoon asking Assessor Errol Williams to appear before the council's Economic Development Committee next week to explain how his office came up with those numbers. She points to concerns from a 2019 Bureau of Governmental Research finding about methodology. They saw that there was a lot of sales chasing, you know, just because, you know, somebody on the block sells their house for a heck of a lot of money, everybody's, everybody's assessments went up. The assessments are being made based upon averages of what properties are selling for each respective neighborhood. And if there's, okay, uh, conditions inside the property that we're unaware of, so we're not going through every home. For comparison, Assessor Williams says the city's divided into 393 neighborhoods for home assessment, 141 sections for commercial property, not zip codes, since there's so much variance in prices. Rather wait until the deadline on August 15th, he encourages people to come now to dispute increases while his office has no one in the waiting room, or file an online appeal July 24th through August 18th. You can take pictures of your home's interior holding a current newspaper showing that day's date. 123,000 letters with new assessments are mailed. All of these homes in red are valued from a half million to more than a million. More than 6,000 homes went up more than 50 percent. Even some small central city homes in need of repair went up. Short-term rentals. Okay, have been buying up the, uh, the people who buying up these houses in the inner city and the mid-city areas are buying them and renovating them. Okay, so those, those affect the values of those neighborhoods. I do not think that the assessor has done a good job at getting this information out to the public, letting them know what is happening right now. Now, the assessor's office says it began an information campaign last year sending out mailers about the possible increases. But here's where it gets complicated. Some people could pay higher taxes while some will pay the same or less. That's because the millage rate by law has to go down. Now, Moreno says the council will not raise that millage, but we don't know if the school board and other agencies will. All right. So